Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? So we are going to cover the topic of how to mass shelter. Of course, anybody and everybody in this game has probably heard of the concept of mass sheltering, which is the idea that, you know, if you've got a lot of troops and you're kind of having a hard time hiding them all, a lot of the time you guys probably all heard of the shelter and you go up and you put 12 hour shelter and you're probably not noticing a number this large. Now, you know, to begin with, obviously, you know, this is all going to go boils down really into your research, right? One of the few places you're going to find this incredibly useful is the military command tree. Now, I don't think traps were going to probably find this entirely useful, but essentially, you got to get your shelter expansion all the way up, and that's that's the first place. And the, the next place is actually in your familiars, uh, and I mean, you probably wonder, you know, like, what do you what do you mean in your familiars? Well, you know, one of the few benefits of the Harpy, which is like a, uh, well, it's one of those heroes that I th I'm almost positive that if you're a traffic agent, you can probably grab it, but she increases the shelter capacity, which is always a nice thing to have. Um, of course, you know, when, when, it do when you do get into, like, actually increasing your shelter capacity to the very bare minimum and bare limit, of course, you know, it's, it's always a little bit difficult. Uh, of course, you know, in case you guys are wondering, I'm actually trying to turn off the phone, so I don't hear, like, hear a kajillion freaking messages, but <laughs> anyway, getting on topic, right? Um, now, of course, you know, when it comes to actually getting into it, um, you know, you've probably, at this point, you've probably done everything you can, right? If you've already gone through and you've increased all of this stuff, then where do we go from here? Well, this is kind of where the tricks that I'm going to tell you are going to come in. So if you're really kind of looking into like trying to get, you know, and, and try to hide more essentially, right? The, the one way you can do it is go into your military command tree and you might notice another particular skill called darkness invasion, which is a 50,000 increase to your max army size to your darkness, right? Which at first probably doesn't sound like a lot but one of the few ways that i find to be really useful to hide a lot of troops is actually go in and upgrade your battle hall now one of the reasons why you want to do this is because what that'll allow you to do is essentially with your guild all right anytime anybody in your guild does a darkness rally all right so let's suppose i do a level two okay and i put an eight hour you'll notice that the standard is 250k which is not a lot right it doesn't sound like a lot and it really isn't a lot right because you're, you're probably thinking well th there's no point in this well if you put your leaders in now you're at 300,000 rather than say you know a couple which is a lot nicer right now of course you know the, the thing about 300,000 is is well you're still not answering the question right because 300k isn't going to solve my problem well the thing is right is if you can send 300,000 that also means you get another 50k every time you send to your allies dark nests so think of it like you're gonna do 300,000 in the shelter you're gonna throw 300,000 on that first darkness rally all right so there with just two two armies all right you're already saving 600,000 troops which is actually quite a bit right because you're essentially saving you know 600,000 now, of course, you can always store more by essentially going up to your buddies, and if they've got 200, and, uh, you know, so they get a level 25 battle hall, you know, you're essentially able to put another 250k in there rather than 200,000, right? And you can do that for as many times as you have leftover army limits. Now, of course, you know, that means you can essentially hide more troops if you're able to uh, actually get more army limits. Now, and ultimately that you know that's really where it boils down to like if you want to hide a lot of troops you need more army limits to do it this way now obviously the ultimate way and this is the easiest one guys is you just pop a shield okay that's the easiest way to do it obviously anybody everybody out there has probably done it that way for a long time and has probably spent a thousand gems a day doing it but if you're not interested in having to spend that kind of mm, I want to say gems on that and you want something that's fairly reliable then Ultimately, this strategy is a little bit more, how do you say, it's it's safer than if had you reinforced one of your buddies. Because when they decide to move or change or anything like that, it's, it's really not good, right? Because you don't know when they're going to do it. However, if let's suppose, you know, I look at a dark nest, you know, the only thing I have to be careful of is this timer right here. Because that's really the only thing that matters. Because once this cancels, then that will cancel my rally. So it's it's just something to keep in mind, obviously. You know, when it comes to hitting with darkness and stuff of that nature, right? 
Now, of course, now let's suppose you've done that, right? And you've reinforced all of them. Then the only way you can really get it to stack is then you start popping army size boosts. And the most we can do at the moment is 50%. Now, at 5,000 gems a pop, this is pretty expensive, but it's not the only way you can essentially hide 50% more. Now, what that means is, is now instead of holding, you know, 250k, now it's 300k per every reinforcement that you have, and rather than it be 300k on the first darkness, now it's 350k or so, or even more, in fact. Um, but I mean, that's the reality of it, is like, if you want to make the most out of it, you, you're basically going to have to use the army size boosts to do it. Like, that's essentially how you actually go about doing it. Now, it is a little bit difficult, obviously, you know, when you're starting out, you know, you're probably going to have yourself in a situation where you're frankly not going to have these researchers right away. So, my recommendation from there on out is obviously the old traditional way of doing it, which is to basically reinforce one of your buddies. Which, I mean, is it unreliable? Uh, not really, but it's 200,000, you know, it's... And if that's really what you gotta do, that's what you gotta do. Uh, of course, you know, one of the only uh, things that I do recommend for those of you out there that are wanting to, like, hide a circumstantially large portion of your army, another thing you can actually do is if you go out and, let's say, uh, let's suppose, you know, one of your, uh, you know, your old-fashioned tricks is to, like, go find yourself an old account, so, you know, again, you've probably seen them out there, right? But you'll see them out here, and once in a while you can actually put an, a rally attack on them, assuming that they're of proper level, right? And you can get up to 250k on there. So it's not much different than a darkness rally, really. It's the same concept, but you're essentially getting the, about the same result. Now, the one thing that I will say that is really nice about the darkness path is that essentially by reinforcing say like you know your uh your buddies you're not getting fury when you do it and better yet when you put a darkness rally up you're not getting fury either during this so it doesn't add to a fury timer which is really helpful when you're actually trying to you know hide a lot of troops especially if you're in a really hur quick hurry now of course you know when it comes to mass hiding a ton of troops of course there are more ways and i'm going to tell you some more um one of the few ways that i've seen players in this game have actually done some really sneaky stuff is that they will actually go from one end of the map onto the other. Now, that may sound like a really bad idea, at least initially, but let's suppose I want to send, you know, a reinforcement or something akin to that. You could very well send a reinforcement army all the way to your friend from one end of the map and onto the other. And the benefit of that is it, just like, you know, had you had, you know, a ton of troops through, uh, you know, through like any other means, the one thing that you have control over versus any other method is at least in this case, your armies are so far away now that, you know, they're probably about an hour to two hours tops ahead so that you'll have enough time to shield by the time they come back. And that's one of the few ways where I'll, you know, if I was in a really quick hurry and I needed to hide troops really quick, it's a nice fun way to actually kind of like just throw them out and then you'll essentially avoid losing them in the process. Um, of course, a lot of people out there have probably heard of the idea of just occupying a camp and putting all of your troops on there. Obviously, that's uh, not recommended in my book, you know, as far as camps are concerned. I mean, I really don't use them for that purpose, but I've seen some players out there who have been putting a bunch of one troop tiles and then they occasionally put their actual army in there which I, i'm just you know just so just so you know that's not the most effective way to hide your troops just say it but um of course you know for those of you out there that uh like to uh kind of like you know for example like uh, one thing that i i was noticing some players doing is you know if for example i suppose you wanted to actually rally somebody one of the few things that i thought was really interesting was that, you know, just like how you, if you were doing a darkness rally, uh, I was noticing how, like, you know, so, like, if, if suppose you're rallying the base, for example, I've actually seen where people will line their accounts up, and then what they'll do is they'll send all of their troops into the base, and then while they sit there and hold all their troops in the base, they'll also send all of their other troops in the next base, and the next base, and the next base. And that's another way to hide your troops, but it's only relevant during like the Wonder War and stuff like that. But I've seen where people will literally sink more than, you know, 200 and what, 250k or so, uh, sometimes 200,000. And it's all dependent really solely on that, you know, on that max army size boost, which I mean, for the, obviously a lot of you guys are going, oh, well, duh. 
But no, it's like, it's actually one of the few ways that I've seen people where they'll actually hide troops in there. Because the benefit of that is at least now you've got one person on top of all of the troops that are in that base. And it's pretty cozy usually in there because, well, to be quite honest with you, you've got a rally lead in there. And there's, eh, you've got a good chance that if, if somebody does come by walk-in, he's going to know better to actually pull them out if, in fact, it is no good, right? But that's just, you know, one way where, you know, it, versus like, had you put it in someone else and they go offline and their shield pops, yeah, not probably not so good. But, you know, again, that that's a circumstantial kind of thing. But even still, it's one of the few ways where I've seen people kind of stash their troops, because I've seen people like that where they'll have, you know, they'll have probably out of the six armies they've got, they've got them all in the forts. So you got three forts, and then you got three forts over here. They would have all six of their armies all in the forts. And then they essentially they would, you know, they'd keep themselves empty because again, really, I mean, if you think about it, right, you got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There's like 1.2 million troops in there, right? And so that's a really good way to really hide a lot, you know, like a lot of your troops. But if you wanted to hide more, you can always put them into darkness and stuff of that nature. And that's kind of what I would do uh, if I was trying to really hide even more than that, really. Because that's ultimately, at that point, you're doing like 300,000 a pop. And that's, well, I mean, really, if you think about it, right? You pop those army size boosts and everything, that's just even that much more that you can add to your shelter capacity. But needless to say, I hope you guys found this video somewhat helpful as far as hiding your troops. These are all the places that I know of anyway that <laughs> you can hide them in. Um, of course, you know, if you guys have any more suggestions, feel free to say so in the comment section below and feel free to check out these videos. And I'll see you guys next time.